Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to refresh your sandbox for Service Cloud Voice and relink it to an Amazon Connect instance using an AWS account. This configuration specifically applies to users of Service Cloud Voice with telephony provided by Amazon Connect. If you're using Service Cloud Voice with Amazon Connect, you'll need to complete all the refresh steps mentioned in this video. However, if you're using Service Cloud Voice with Partner Telephony from Amazon Connect, you can skip certain steps as instructed. Now let's go through the steps involved in refreshing the sandbox. First, you'll need to retrieve the metadata for the following packages. Conversation, vendor info, call center, and the single sign-on connected app. These packages contain essential information about the AWS account and the integration between Salesforce and Amazon Connect. Once you have backed up the metadata, you can proceed to refresh the sandbox. After the sandbox refresh, you'll need to deploy the conversation vendor info metadata to the refreshed sandbox. Additionally, deploy the single sign-on connected app metadata and update the call center metadata with the new connected app values. Next, you'll create the REST API OAuth connected app and update the call center metadata with the new connected app values. Then, deploy the call center metadata to the refreshed sandbox. It's important to map the identity provider, IDP certificate, to the connected apps and update the AWS IAM Salesforce Service Voice IDP identity provider with the latest IDP certificate. Update the Service Cloud Voice AWS Lambda functions with the latest environment variable settings. Before you begin the sandbox refresh process, there are a few prerequisites to keep in mind. First, make sure you have AWS root user or AWS administrator credentials. Also, verify that the AWS account you want to use is not being used by another Salesforce organization. It's crucial to review the Sandbox Org guidelines to understand best practices and guidelines related to Sandbox Orgs and refreshes. Now, let's dive into the process of refreshing the Sandbox. Remember, if you're using Service Cloud Voice with Partner Telephony from Amazon Connect, you can skip this step. First, retrieve the conversation vendor info metadata from the Sandbox org and create a backup copy named package.xml. This package contains information about the AWS account. We have a Sandbox called Refresh, and we will perform Sandbox Refresh for Service Cloud Voice. Here's a sample version of the conversation vendor info package. Similarly, retrieve the call center metadata from the Sandbox org and create a backup copy named package.xml. The call center package contains the call center definition used to integrate the Salesforce contact center with the Amazon Connect instance. Here's a sample version of the call center package where contact center West is the internal name of the contact center. Additionally, retrieve the single sign-on connected app metadata from the sandbox org and create a backup copy named package.xml. This package contains the app configuration used to integrate Salesforce with the Amazon Connect instance. Here's a sample version of the single sign-on connected app package where Contact Center West is the name of the contact center. Once you've backed up the metadata, you can proceed to refresh your sandbox. After the sandbox refresh, deploy the conversation vendor info metadata to the refreshed sandbox org. If you're using Service Cloud Voice with Partner Telephony from Amazon Connect, you can skip this step. You should receive an email from Salesforce confirming that Service Cloud Voice has successfully connected to the AWS account. Again, if your telephony model is Service Cloud Voice with Partner Telephony from Amazon Connect, you can skip this step. Otherwise, to finish turning on Service Cloud Voice in the refreshed sandbox org, follow these steps. Go to Setup Voice. Amazon Setup and verify that Turn On Voice with Amazon Connect is on and grayed out. In the Register Tax Number section, click Confirm Settings. Verify that you receive an email from Salesforce confirming that Service Cloud Voice is turned on. Next, deploy the single sign-on connected app metadata to the refreshed Sandbox org. Copy the required values from the newly deployed single sign-on connected app to the Call Center Metadata XML file. First, copy the REC connected app ID value from the connected application.obj file of the newly deployed connected app. This value is the 15 or 18 digit org ID of the connected app. 
Replace the value of REC connected app ID in the XML file with the copied value. Second, go to Setup, App Manager, click Manage next to the newly deployed connected app and copy the IDP initiated login URL. This value is the REC identity URL. Replace the value of REC identity URL in the XML file with the copied value. Third, give users access to the single sign-on connected app using permission sets or profiles. Go to Setup, App Manager, click Manage next to the newly deployed connected app and assign the profiles to the app or enable the Service Cloud Voice permission set. Now it's time to create the REST API OAuth connected app in the refreshed sandbox org. Follow the steps outlined in the Setup OAuth in your Service Cloud Voice Connected App document. Copy the RecRest API Connected App ID value from the connected application.obj file of the newly created connected app. Replace the value of RecRest API Connected App ID in the Call Center Metadata XML file with the copied value. In the Call Center Metadata XML file, delete the Contact Center Channels element. Deploy the call center metadata, which includes the updated values, to the refreshed sandbox org. To find your IDP certificate, select Setup, Identity Provider. Write down the label name of the currently chosen certificate. Verify that the IDP certificate is mapped to the single sign-on connected app by going to Setup, Connected Apps. Click Edit Policies next to the name of the single sign-on connected app and ensure that the name of the IDP certificate matches the one you wrote down. Next, update the Salesforce Service Voice IDP provider in AWS IAM with the latest IDP certificate. Go to IAM Identity Providers and click on Salesforce Service Voice IDP to access its details. Download the XML version of the current IDP metadata and replace it with the downloaded XML file. Add users to contact center in contact center users section. Check if the single sign-on is working by clicking telephony provider settings. Optionally, you can import queues groups into your Salesforce contact center from Amazon Connect to do this. Enable Amazon Connect queues and routing profiles feature in Amazon setup or partner telephony setup. In the contact center details page, click import. Finally, set the Salesforce org ID environment variable in the AWS Lambda functions to the org ID of the refreshed sandbox. To get the Salesforce org ID, navigate to company information in setup. Find and copy the 15 or 18 digit org ID, go to AWS Lambda, and click on the name of the Lambda function that has the Salesforce org ID environment variable. Change the value of Salesforce org ID to the copied org ID. Once you've made these changes, Make sure to publish the updated version of the Lambda function and set the alias to the correct version. Repeat the steps for the following Lambda functions to change the org ID reference. Invoke telephony integration API function, post, call analysis, trigger function, contact lens, processor function, contact lens, consumer function, KVS transcriber. Before we move on, Ensure that the SKRT endpoint base value and environment variable is accurate. Voice uses public-private key pairs to authenticate the telephony service request between Amazon Web Services and Salesforce. In the Contact Center, Detail page click Update Key to ensure the new key pairs are updated. Additionally, you can add the Contact Center channel. Test the voice call functionality by calling your Contact Center phone number. And there you have it. You've successfully refreshed your sandbox and completed all the necessary steps to relink it to the Amazon Connect instance. If you face any issues while set up or test, feel free to contact Salesforce support for more help. For more information, go to help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.